Hello, everyone. Bonjour, bonjour, and happy National Volunteer Week. As honorary patron of IODE Ontario, I'm pleased to extend my warm greetings to all of you tuning in for your 102nd AGM. Over a century ago, your forerunners met for this esteemed order's inaugural annual general meeting. They met in an era of global conflict and instability, on the heels of the First World War and the uneasy peace that followed it. They met while a terrible global health crisis, the Spanish flu, was mercifully just drawing to a close. You know, the similarities between our world today and that of 1920 indeed are so striking. We're reminded of how much remains the same and of the problems that recur even amidst advancements and exponential change. But we're reminded also of the principles and the values that endure, like service, compassion, and duty. Principles and values that the membership of IODE Ontario has displayed through times of peace and conflict. And it's historic milestones like your recent 100th anniversary and this year's Platinum Jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen. Those things cause us to pause, reflect, and to reassert the worth of the principles, both for today's challenges and tomorrow's. In the pursuit of meeting those challenges, this year's AGM theme of moving forward together could not be more appropriate. And I wish to acknowledge that in so many ways, IODE members have not only been pointing the way ahead, but you've also helped move us there as well. In your spring newsletter, I read about the remarkable investments you're making in the next generation through your many generous awards and scholarships, about the success of your 100th anniversary project, 100 hoodies and track pants, and about the impact of your work in Northern communities. It's this generosity, this devotion to your queen, to your communities, and to others that will truly help to build a kinder, more caring and resilient Canada. One that's ready for whatever the future holds. In closing, I want to say a special word of thanks to Ms. Linda Greiner, who is soon to conclude her third term as provincial president. Linda, you've inspired everyone with your tireless efforts, characteristic grace and leadership, and you certainly have my very best wishes. I wish everyone a productive meeting, and I look forward to seeing the many ways that you'll continue to contribute and serve the people of Ontario. And on behalf of the people of Ontario, thank you, merci, miigwech.